Today, I'm going to tell you why I write my first drafts very quickly. At some point in my filmmaking journey, I read that Hollywood in particular, and Bollywood as well, requires writers to work very fast. I read multiple stories about how writers were called in to punch up a character or do a logic pass on a shooting script. In all of these stories, I learned that the writers were given between one and three weeks to complete the rewrite. That information blew my mind. I couldn't believe that writers were getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for between one and three weeks of work. I'd love to get work like that. Yeah, because that's what's going to happen. But I digress. So based on that information, I decided that I should be able to write my first draft in between two to four weeks. Now, I have quite an active imagination and I'm also pretty decent at thinking on my feet. So I can come up with suggestions in a writer's room or I can pivot based upon feedback that is given by a producer. All of this I can then use to turn around fresh pages within 48 hours from the time that we discuss something in the room. If you are not the type of writer who can produce 90 to 120 pages within four weeks, that's fine. These skills can be learned over time. The more you write, the more tools you will be able to collect to be able to work to a timeline. Now, speed definitely doesn't matter when you're working on your own material. In fact, it might be better for you to take as much time as you need to write the best possible script that showcases your skills to the maximum. This improves your chances of getting hired to do a professional job. But you have to know that speed is of the essence when you have been hired to work on a project. The second big reason why I need to write my first draft quickly is because I hate the blank page. Staring at a computer where that cursor is blinking accusingly at me is not a good time. I find that I am able to think about the material better when there is already something on the page. I can punch up characters, I can make the dialogue funnier or more impactful, I can change the scenes around and I can improve the structure. All of this is made easier for me when I already have something on the page. In a nutshell, this is my process. I try and come up with an idea. Nothing happens. I finally have my Eureka moment and it's when I least expect it. So I write down that initial thought and more often than not, I forget about the idea. Not as often as I would like, but sometimes for sure, the idea stays with me. And when it has been with me for a while, I try and think about what the movie or the show would look like. Then comes the process of putting this down in final draft. And I'm not going to lie, this is the point where I drag my feet the most. I'm filled with doubt. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get to the end of the script. And then I'm always wondering, what's the point anyway? No one's going to read it. Since I don't know anybody in the industry, it's going to be such a long shot to get this thing made. Blah, 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 blah. Finally, because this idea has been taking up all the free brain space I have, I write it down. And when I say write it down, I mean everything. Scenes, sequences, dialogue, the whole nine yards. Then, because this is how the creative process works for me, I hate the script and I hate myself. So I put it away and try not to think about it for as long as I can. I should pause here to indicate that this is what I do on spec projects self-generated work that I'm always creating to try and improve my chances of being hired professionally. A work for hire assignment works completely differently. There are timelines that are agreed upon with the producer. They are in your contract. So I have no time for self-doubt and just enough time to generate the pages needed. Now, just to be clear, the first version of a project, what is commonly known on writer Twitter as the vomit draft, that is the one I finish quickly. 10 to 15 days at maximum. If it takes longer than that to write, I'm not ready to write it and I should move on to something else. Because I know how long it takes to get a screenplay together, I need my zero draft to come together very quickly. Because once that draft is done, the script needs to just sit for a while, anywhere between a month to a year sometimes. Only when I've achieved that distance from that screenplay will I go back in and evaluate it to see whether there's something there, something that I could reshape into the type of screenplay that I would be comfortable sending out to executives or producers. The revision process is a different beast altogether and it can take weeks, months, or even years to complete. When that process is done, the script that comes out of it is what I refer to as my first draft. It may say first draft on the front page, but that's really the fourth or the fifth draft. So that's it. That's my writing process. 
a small spark of inspiration, a moderate ability to improvise, and a never-ending battle with imposter syndrome is what goes into writing each and every one of my screenplays. And I've written 21 at this point. Whether you're new to the screenwriting game or simply stuck with your current work in progress, I hope some of this helped you out. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor and hit that like button. If you think you'd want to watch more videos like this, consider subscribing to this channel. And if you are already subscribed, please hit that bell icon so that you will be informed when our next video goes live. Thank you for watching.